Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my high-end foundation routine. Also, don't mind if you can see some lash glue. They're drying right now. I have some of the Kiss Blowout lashes on um, just for like a more wispy, natural look. So the lash glue is drying and then I got to do a little bit of a liner in here, but that's not what this video is going to be on. Who else is running on coffee and dry shampoo? But yeah, I figured I'd show you guys my foundation routine. Um, I am partnering with Clinique to share this with you guys. You all know I do love the Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. So I'm going to show you guys how I use this. A lot of you have seen me use it before. It's one of my favorite foundations. I've been using a lot of drugstore foundations recently. I've been really wanting to dip back into my high-end foundations because I do love all of my high-end foundations and I need to show them some love. I hope you guys are excited to see this video. A lot of you really liked my drugstore full coverage foundation routine and I figured why not do a high-end one? So if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys already know primer water. I like for my skin to feel hydrated. I actually have a Neutrogena moisturizer on right now. It's like their water gel cream. It's really, really good. So I have that on. I have all my moisturizers on. But I do like to add just a little bit more with this primer water. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Next, I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is a filter finish protective primer. I've been liking this. I'm gonna rub it between my fingers and put this mainly in my problem areas, like my T-zone where I have larger pores. And then I'll also kind of smooth it out to the outer parts of my face, just so those areas are primed as well. This primer does leave your skin super smooth. So now I'm gonna take the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. So this is obviously a foundation and a concealer in one. It has a full coverage finish. You can use it underneath your eyes as concealer. This is a really good product. It's been around for a while, and there's a reason why, because it's it's a really great foundation. You just take it out and it has this big dofa applicator. I feel like, I wonder, was Clinique the original people who did this? So the shade I'm using right now is 9 Neutral. This might be a little too dark for me. No, actually, that might be okay. I was going to add lightener in it if it was, but I'm just going to go ahead and do some swipes. Swipes? <laughs> so like little stripes on my face. This is the best part about this foundation. I've been using this for so long. I have a video from a long time ago when this first came out and I really liked it. So I'll leave that review down below if you guys want to check it out. It was like so long ago, back when I lived in my house. So you guys should go check that out. Just going to use my Real Techniques sponge to blend this out today. This foundation is great because it covers like all of my redness. It'll cover your under eye circles and it just is really so smooth on the skin. It lasts all day and never looks cakey. This doesn't emphasize texture. I mean, it's just so good. It's just one of those staple foundations. Okay, this color is like pretty spot on. So this is a newer color for me that I'm trying out. And this is perfect. Like beyond perfect. <laughs> beyond perfecting. <laughs> I really did not mean to even <laughs> like sink those together. Okay, it doesn't sink into your fine lines, anything like that, which is why you can use it as a concealer on your skin doesn't break me out. It really does take no time to blend this out and get a nice full coverage finish. You guys know me. I love full coverage. Can't be without it. They do say that since this foundation has such high pigment that if it looks a little too dark when you first apply it, just let it dry and it'll melt into your skin to give you a really pretty flawless finish. Also, if you guys don't know, Clinique will offer a 10-day free supply if you visit any Clinique counter. So definitely do that. If you have not tried this foundation, go get you a sample. Go test it out. Let them color match you. That's the best part about it. They'll color match you and then you get a 10-day free sample. This foundation is also allergy tested and fragrance free. So that is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Again, this is in 9 Neutral. It's like my perfect color. I can't get over this color. It's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is conceal. I'm going to use two different concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium. And then I also have the YSL Tush Concealer. I call it Tush instead of Touche Eclat because it's still a little too fancy for me. First thing I'm going to do is take the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to go... Underneath my eyes, you guys know I've been loving the Flower Beauty Concealer too, but this is all high-end here. I've recently tried out the Milk Makeup Full Coverage Concealer, and so far, I like that. I'm still trying it out to give you guys a full review, but it is not a bad product. So with the Tarte Shape Tape, I put it like underneath my eyes where I have the most darkness inside the inner corner of my eye because I get super dark in there. Then I'm going to take the YSL Tush Concealer. This one's in 3.5, and then I'll just highlight my face with the rest of this. I like actually hate the clicky pins, but this is such a nice concealer that I'm okay with it. Then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and we are just going to blend that out. This sponge is so good. I don't know why, but mine's like tearing apart. Do I use it too much? <laughs> Probably so. That YSL concealer really just adds a little bit of radiance and like 
a more hydrated look to the Tarte Shape Tape. I really love this combo. I'm still obsessed with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. Even though there's other concealers that I really like as well that are high end, this one's just a, you know, it's just a must have. One of those that if you're ever just feeling like concealers aren't doing the job, Tarte Shape Tape comes in and saves the day. So I just went ahead and blended everything out. Really nice and seamless. And then for the inner corners, I am gonna take a smaller brush. This one's the It Cosmetics Blurring Concealer. It's like a tiny little fluffy brush. And what I do is I like to go in here and just kind of do circular motions. And then I'll take any excess onto my lid to even that out as well. But I really focus it here just to make sure that area is nice and bright and makes you look so much more awake. Now if I was going to do like a full glam on my eyes, I would not put this concealer on my eyelids. But I'm just going to add some bronzer in here. Okay, so what I like to do is just take my BD blender after I've blended everything out. I go over one last time. Just to make sure I got all that product pushed in. And I kind of dig it all over my face. I'll start underneath my eyes and I'll just push all the way down the side of my face. So if there's any harsh lines from like the concealer to the foundation, I just really try to work with it. And that way I know everything is completely pressed in and sunk into the skin. And there's not going to be any crazy like foundation concealer lines that didn't mix. We are so nice and bright. We have a little bit of a glow to our skin. We are full coverage. And now we're gonna set everything. And I think you guys know what powder I'm gonna use that's high end because this one is so good. It is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Powder. This is what it looks like. It is one of those powders that if you just feel like your foundation looks a little, which this one doesn't, so it's gonna make this whole look like even better. But if you think your foundation is just looking a little like wonky, you could put this powder on and it literally just transforms it into like this smooth canvas. It is amazing. What I've been doing recently is just using a beauty blender to apply powder all over. I'll start underneath my eyes and apply like the most powder there for me. Um, I don't find that this gets cakey underneath my eyes or anything so I feel like I can do that. So I'll apply the most under here. Then I'll go over the rest of my face with my beauty blender and just press that powder into my skin. Not like this but. <laughs> so I ripped my sifter off. This smells so good you guys. I can't get over it. So I'm going to take that much and I'm going to start underneath my eye. Going right up to that lower lash line and really pressing it in and then I'll just go down the side of my face to set the rest of the makeup. To me, I just feel like it looks really even. I've been really enjoying using a um, sponge to apply my powder because I don't find that it gets super cakey or anything like that. It really just presses it into that skin and then with your body heat, I feel like it just melts in and it looks so good. So that's just been my preference. I haven't really been using a brush too, too much to apply powder unless I just need a quick, <gasps> hey, unless I just need a quick application. Look at how smooth we're looking. <laughs> it is so crazy. And then I'll start pressing on my nose, take the rest onto my forehead real quick. I recently went back to this bronzer and oh my gosh, I used it in a video that I just filmed yesterday and I used to use this bronzer all the time but I just went back to it and I've been using this darker shade. I was always using bronze 02 but now I'm using bronze 03. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder and this gives you such a gorgeous bronzed look and it looks so natural. It's so smooth. So I'm going to take my little dome brush here. This is from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to bronze my face like I normally do. I'm telling you, this is the smoothest powder ever. And I cannot believe I just let this sit in my drawer and forgot about it for so long. Like, it's so pretty. And it's that perfect bronzer where it's nice and warm. There's no shimmer. It really just looks so beautiful. So now it's time to contour. I'm going to use one of my staple bronzers for this. It's one that I always go back to if I just don't know what to use, if I just want to use something that I've always loved. And this is a bronzer I have used for years, like the longest time. And it is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It says Casey's Hula because we got this so long ago where they like customized it for a PR package. I really love this bronzer so much. For me, it's just like that perfect tone. It's kind of ashy. It's perfect to contour my nose with. So this is what I'm going to contour with today. I'm also using the Morphe M510 to contour. It's just nice and fluffy. And gets right in there. But you see, it's just like that perfect shade. It looks so light in the pan, but then you put it on your face and you're like, oh. So I'm just going to contour underneath my cheekbones. I'm doing little circular motions, also taking it back to my ear. 
That way we don't have any like spaces in between right here. You guys already know this next one, but to highlight, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. By far one of my favorite highlight palettes she has ever come out with. My two favorites is um, Marshmallow and Starburst. I mix these two all the time. I normally just take this one farther down my cheek. I'm gonna apply Starburst first with my Anastasia A23 brush. And I like to start mid cheek and work my way kind of down, just very lightly. So I bring the highlight pretty far forward. And then I also kind of just do a little circular up there so the highlight kind of goes up towards that brow. Do the same over here. I'm very lightly applying this as well. I'm using my finger to take that highlight just down the center of my nose. I don't bring it like all the way to the tip unless it's by accident. So this is the Lorac Blush in Technicolor. This is like a staple from me. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to talk about this all the time. It's such a good blush. So I'm just going to use this little brush. I cannot find my blush brush anywhere from um, Sigma. And this brush is always picks up too much product because it's a foundation brush. I normally like to apply blush on the apples of my cheeks, but since I have highlighter already down there, I'm just going to skip that. But I am going to go in and blend these together and just kind of melt them all. And when I use a stippling brush, I am so light-handed with it, but I am doing a lot of circular motion. So I'm not really moving my makeup a lot. I'm just buffing that out, but with such a light hand where the bristles are barely like grazing your face. If you go in and you're like super harsh with it, it is going to move your makeup, but you just got to got to be gentle. Just have a nice light hand and do circular motions, especially right here at the cheeks. If I need to blend out my highlight on my cheeks, I'll just go in here and I'll do circular motions going backwards. After I blend everything out, I'm going to go back in with marshmallow and I'm going to put this right in the center of the cheek just for that pop. And then that is pretty much it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. And I'm also going to put a lip product on. And then I'll be right back to close this video out for you guys. So I finished up my brows. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It just looks so pretty and smooth. I love it. I am wearing my Palladio collab in Georgia. It's this color that I'm wearing right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this foundation routine. You'll look super glam whether you're wearing just lashes or a full-blown eyeshadow look. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This side of my face is doing it for me today.